How you doing YouTube? It's Sean Jackson here. I just wanted to hop on here and make another video. I had a couple of uh, subscribers of mine that wanted me to make a video on how buying a house because a couple of them were trying to buy a house. So I told them I would do that. Uh, I'm sure you see we just redid the office. I painted it and stuff like that. So um, I figure uh, I bought my first house about six months ago. So I know a little bit about it. So I'm gonna go through the process with you guys and maybe give you a little knowledge. I'm sure some of you that bought houses might have more knowledge than me. So uh, I figured I'd hop on here and give you a little education. So for me, the first thing you need to, you need to do to buy a house, right? Is you have to have two years work experience. And that doesn't mean two years with different jobs. You have to have the same job for two years as in the same industry. For example, you can't work a construction company one year and then work at McDonald's the next year. You have to be in the same industry for two years. For example, you could work at Great Clips cutting hair and then go to another barbershop cutting hair. It's the same industry, so they, they will accept that. So you have to have two years of, in the same industry of work, okay? Number two would be your credit score. You need a 620 or better credit score to be approved for a house. Obviously, the better the credit score, the better interest rate you're gonna get. The lower you know, APR you'll get, the lower your mortgage will be. Number three would be your down payment. So how that works is they have FHA loans, they have conventional loans. So a FHA loan is what a lot of people get. That's what I got. So a FHA loan is what I got. And um, they also have uh, loans for veterans. Like if you're a veteran, Army, military, Navy, they have no percent down loans where you don't have to put anything down to move in. Zero down payment. And then if you want to buy a house for a rental property, you have to put 20% down. But for your house that you're actually moving in, you can put as little as 3.5% down. Like on my house, that's what I put. I put 3% down. I put... Uh, $11,000 down on my house. My house costs $200,000. So I put 11 grand down. My uh, mortgage is $1,168 a month. I pay 1,200 even, just to make it an even number. Comes out of my checking account automatically. So if I were you, I would just uh, try to, if you're a first time home buyer, try to go with, uh, they have a lot of program, first time home buyer programs. Because a lot of people make buying a house so difficult when it's really not. You just got to go out there and start calling. Call a realtor. Call loan officers. People that know what they're doing. They can get you in a house. Number three. That was a down payment. Number four. You need to have a pre-approval a pre letter. Because if you go, say, say you want to go looking for a house. You and your husband or you and your girlfriend. You're like, yeah, I love this house. And then... The um, agent says, oh, have you got it pre-approved already? And you say, no. They're not going to take you that serious. Because if you don't get a pre-approval letter and they go through all the process of trying to get you this house and you don't have a pre-approval letter, it falls through you just wasted their time. So I recommend getting a pre-approval letter first. That's the number one thing you should do. Get a pre-approval letter saying that the bank is going to loan you the money and how much money they will loan you to buy this house. After that, you want to get a home inspection. See, I didn't get a home inspection on in my house just because of the, uh, you know, the pandemic. A lot of shit was going on, and for my house, most of, most of the expensive stuff was already paid for. The roof was brand new, hot water heater, um, my HVAC unit. So I just needed cosmetic work, like paint, carpet, things of that nature. And luckily, when I moved in, I moved in with equity. I bought the house for 200 grand. Uh, I got my house appraised for 216. And then since I've been here, I've been here for like, I wanna say seven months now. The house two doors down sold for 220. The one across the street sold for 215. So my equity is already building. Cause that's what you want. You want, you want equity in your house, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to make this video for uh, a couple of people to ask about it. And um, I think the next video I'm gonna make is on uh, on the process of actually building a credit portfolio 
because I have, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 people a day keep messaging me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube about learning about the stock market and crypto. So I think that's probably going to be my next video. So stay tuned. If you got any good information out of this, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you.